Welcome back to Autism Daily or the Autism Daily, whichever you prefer. Are there any diseases that have similar symptoms to autism? So I can understand why people ask this question. You know, um, so many people don't understand autism as a spectrum disorder and they, you know, can only really relate to what they've heard. So, you know, their child will present with a few kind of uh, symptoms for lack of a better explanation and I think parents just want to know, is it autism spectrum disorder? Is it always autism spectrum disorder? So there are related disorders or, you know, disorders that may present very similarly uh, to autism. Let's have a look at what some of these are. So I just want to start by saying that when you start looking at things like general developmental delays, you're looking at language delays, you're looking at problems with gross motor development or clumsiness, hypersensitivity to sounds, hand flapping, even eating, you know, um, these kinds of things can present themselves in, in a wide variety of disorders. But what you're going to find is when we start looking at some of the other disorders, um, that there are other challenges that are not present in autism. So you might find that, you know, um, a prada willy syndrome may have, um, the child may have blood pressure problems or the child may have elevated calcium levels, where in autism, those elements aren't necessarily um, a comorbidity at all. So very important for you to get your child diagnosed. There are a few, just to answer your question a little bit um, more straightforwardly, let's look at them. There's Tardif dyskinesia, um, that's a bit of a mouthful. There's Rett syndrome, there's prader willi syndrome, there's Angelman syndrome, Fragile X, um, Williams syndrome, to name but a few. So a lot of these um, syndromes, you're going to also have the child that is struggling to develop language, like I've just said, that may have repetitive movements, etc. But as I've also said, they are going to possibly have the lazy eye, the muscle tone may be, um, you know, a lot more problematic than, than what we see in, in, in children with autism. You know, it may have a situation where the child also has flat feet or, um, you know, cardiovascular difficulties. So again, I cannot stress this enough, particularly now, you know, during autism, World Autism Month, get out there go and see that professional, go and see the speech therapist, the occupational therapist, or ideally um, get to a neurodevelopmental pediatrician so that you can establish, you know, um, what help is available and, and what you can do to, to help your child overcome some of their challenges. I would like to thank you for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you all again soon. Have a good afternoon.